Uh, it's our honor today to have Bishop Walderscheid, uh, the auxiliary bishop of Pittsburgh, with us to be the celebrant. And we, of course, haven't seen him for a while. I know you haven't seen him. And uh, we're just very happy that he's here and that he's able to uh, celebrate the Mass for us today. So uh, we uh, thank the Lord for his ministry as a bishop and to continue to keep him in good health and to continue to use all the gifts that the Lord has given him. Behold, now she follows the Lamb who was crucified for us. Powerful in virginity, modesty her offering, a sacrifice on the altar of chastity. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. peace be with you. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God, May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who gave St. Catherine of Alexandria to your people as a virgin and an invincible martyr, grant that through her intercession we may be strengthened in faith and constancy and spend ourselves without reserve for the unity of the Church. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, saw in heaven another sign, great and awe-inspiring. Seven angels with the seven last plagues, for through them God's fury is accomplished. Then I saw something like a sea of glass mingled with fire. On the sea of glass were standing those who had won the victory over the beast and its image and the number that signified its name. They were holding God's harps, and they sang the song of Moses, the servant of God, and the song of the Lamb. Great and wonderful are your works, Lord God Almighty. Just and true are your ways, O King of the nations. Who will not fear you, Lord, or glorify your name? For you alone are holy. All the nations will come and worship before you, for your righteous acts have been revealed. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Great and wonderful are all your works, Lord God, a mighty, Lord, mighty God. Great and wonderful are all your works, Lord, mighty God. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for him, his holy arm. Great and wonderful are your works, Lord, mighty God. 
The Lord has made his salvation known in the sight of the nations. He has revealed his justice. He has remembered his kindness and his faithfulness toward the house of Israel. Great and wonderful are your works, Lord mighty God. Let the sea and what fills it resound, the world and all those who dwell in it. Let the rivers clap their hands, the mountains shout with them for joy. Great and wonderful are your works, Lord mighty God. Before the Lord, before he comes, for he comes to rule the earth, he will rule the world with justice and the peoples with equity. Great and wonderful are your works, Lord mighty God. Remain faithful until death, and I will give you the crown of life. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Our reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the crowds, they will seize and persecute you. They'll hand you over to the synagogues and to prisons. And they will have you led before kings and governors because of my name. It will lead to you giving testimony. Remember, you are not to prepare your defense beforehand. For I myself shall give you a wisdom in speaking. That all your adversaries will be powerless to resist or refute. You'll even be handed over by parents, brothers, relatives, and friends, and they'll put some of you to death. You'll be hated by all because of my name, but not a hair on your head will be destroyed. By your perseverance, you will secure your lives. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Praised be Jesus Christ, now and forever. Amen. It's so great to be back here in Mount Carmel at Our Ladies, and I'm so grateful to Father Frank for his unfailing hospitality and for his kind invitation to be with you for Mass this morning. Today in the Gospel, Jesus gives us the warning of what is coming to us. They will seize and persecute you. They will hand you over to the synagogues and to prisons, and they will have you led before kings and governors because of my name. It will lead to your giving testimony. You know that when people are against us, we must be doing something right. And what we do that is right is that we are proclaiming the truth of the gospel. That we have known our entire lives that Jesus our, himself has taught us through his church, he who went to the cross and died as an example of what a true martyr is, a witness to unfailing lo uh, love. <clears throat> Today we celebrate the feast of St. Catherine of Alexandria, a martyr of the early church who was from Egypt and who gave witness before the Roman governor of Egypt and would not cease to proclaim her faith in and her love for Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. There is a tradition that says she was to be torn apart on a big wheel that was full of sharp spikes. But God himself destroyed the wheel by sending down fire from heaven. So she was beheaded instead. She was a true martyr for the Lord. Today, Jesus also tells us, Remember, you are not to prepare your defense beforehand. 
For I myself will give you a wisdom in speaking that all your adversaries will be powerless to resist or refute. You will be even handed over by parents, brothers, relatives, and friends, and they will put some of you to death. <laughs> You will be hated by all because of my name, but not a hair of your head will be destroyed. By your perseverance, you will secure your lives. In St. Matthew's Gospel, Jesus says to us, do not worry about what you are to say, for the Holy Spirit will give it to you. He will give you all that you need to witness. I remember as a newly ordained priest in this very church, for the first time going into the confessional to hear confessions, and I was scared to death. What will I know what to say? But you know, the Holy Spirit gave me what I needed to say, not of my own wisdom, but of the wisdom of God. And the Holy Spirit does that for each one of us. When we witness to Jesus, when we talk about our Catholic faith, when we speak what is true, even when it is most unpopular in our country, in our culture, in our society, the Holy Spirit gives us what we are to say. On this day before Thanksgiving, how much we have to be grateful for, even in these difficult times of pandemic and unrest. We know that Jesus himself is our Lord and Savior. He is King, He rules, He gives us hope and gives us peace. So we pray for one another and we ask the Lord to give us the strength to be able to witness to our faith and to put everything into His hands. For He is Lord and Savior. Come what may, He is the one who heals and saves and gives hope. Praised be Jesus Christ, now and forever. Amen. With great confidence, we turn to our Heavenly Father, and in the holy name of Jesus, we offer our prayers. For all members of the church, may the Lord strengthen us as stewards of the faith we share. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For policymakers, may God give them fortitude in their efforts to defend the dignity of life at all stages. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those struggling with illness or personal afflictions, may Jesus be their strength. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us gathered here today, may God bless us with the grace to be his servants in the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the faithful departed, may they find rest in Jesus' arms. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Especially for Stanislawa and Antoni Waldensick from for whom this Mass is being offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty and eternal God, our Heavenly Father, hear our prayers this day, we who come to the altar of your Son and are immersed in the sacred mysteries of his passion, death, and resurrection. We beg of you, through the powerful intercession of Our Lady of Mount Carmel, to give us every grace. We ask this through Christ our Lord.
pray, beloved brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the offerings we bring in celebration of Blessed Catherine of Alexandria win your gracious acceptance, O Lord, we pray, just as the struggle of her suffering and passion was pleasing to you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for the blood of your blessed martyr, Catherine, poured out like Christ to glorify your name, shows forth your marvelous works by which in our weakness you perfect your power, and on the feeble bestow strength to bear you witness through Christ our Lord. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, Lord, we humbly implore you, by this same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. 
Therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, St. Catherine of Alexandria, and with all your saints, on whose constant intercession, in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world, be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, Ronald, our Bishop, Schwalischat, our visiting Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you summon before you in your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. <clears throat> through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. O Lord, Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. body of Christ the body of Christ the body of Christ body of Christ. The body of Christ.
the Lamb who is at the center of the throne will lead them to the springs of the waters of life. Let us pray. O God, who bestowed on blessed Catherine of Alexandria a crown among the saints for her twofold triumph of virginity and martyrdom, grant, we pray, that through the power of this sacrament, that bravely overcoming every evil, we may attain the glory of, etern of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us pray now a pr the prayer of spiritual communion. For all of those who watch this Mass and have not been able to be here to receive our Lord in Holy Communion, we pray along with them that Jesus will come to them and bring them great graces. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already here and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Just a reminder again that even though the bulletin says Thanksgiving Mass is at 8 a.m., it's really at 9 a.m. And I remember the reason was that uh, I think last year was the first time I kept it at 8 and had a very poor attendance. Previous years, we would have every available seat almost taken. It was like huge. So I, the people were telling me, no, no, please, it's a holiday. Please put it at 9. So it'll be at 9 o'clock tomorrow. And once again, we thank Bishop Walderscheid. What a joy and privilege and honor to have him here with us. Uh, we wish we could see him more often, but I know he's uh, busy in Pittsburgh. So thank you for being here. Thank you, Father, so very much. I know that every day I keep the people of Mount Carmel in my prayers. So know that you remember it every morning at Mass with great gratitude and a most blessed uh, Thanksgiving and a holy and blessed Advent in Christmas coming up. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. O oh, do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan, and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen.